Calabuan at 17 years of age is again hitting the big names. Oh yeah, I can't really believe it at the moment. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was so hard, but yeah, I'm very happy. With it. Arrivé l'Australien Caleb et Wan lance le sprint et l'emporte. Il n'a que 18 ans. Der Australier Caleb Evans gewann den Sprint vor Rumi Gerix und Julian Alcibi. Der Australier siegte nach 157,5 Kilometern im Massensport und feierte seinen zweiten Etappen. Yeah, yeah, it's really special because this is uh, whether I like it or not, my, my last on the 23 uh, the national titles. So, I and mean, to get both the wins is just uh, I can't really explain it. It's just such a good feeling to to be able to back up that you know that I can be a good road rider, not not just a crit rider. Uh, continues to his best with a five range of performances. Well, second in the World Junior Championships in 2012, now second in the under 23. Two years later, he won't get a crack at them again, of course. Next year, he'll ride the elite road race. There's an awful lot of traffic, but the speed of this 20 year old sometimes begs belief. He's on the left of our picture now. Al jovencísimo Cale Tiguan, que con total autoridad se anota la victoria en la Vuelta a la Rioja. by far you know the happiest day in my career um you know to beat some of the the best sprinters in the world especially guys like Sagan and, and Degan Cole Wapa and I feel finished you know it really means a lot to me and and it's a you know it's an honor to race with those guys and and to the, to beat them is, is just unreal for me and yeah I'm super happy. Caleb Ewan kept himself beautifully well hidden behind the Trek Sigafredo train before hitting the wind and starting his sprint in that familiar chest to the handlebars position, once again leaving the rest well behind to take his second stage of the week. He's untouchable. What a sprint, brilliant time in there by the rider on Otica Bike Exchange, Caleb Ewan. Celebrations all round then for Orica Scott, Ewan with a stage victory and of course the leader's journey, powering off the inside barrier to take his second victory of the race. Ewan played the waiting game and launched into the wind 100 metres later and took the win once again from Peter Sagan.
good position, Caleb here now, going to the front, Caleb here looks like he's going to take this to the Australian, still a long way to go on this drive, but an amazing sprint by Caleb here, what a ride, you are the takes to the stage. It just shows uh, my progression as as a rider, and um, you know, in the past, yeah, I've won one stage in the Volta, and then I won one stage in the Giro last time I did it, and yeah, now I've won two. So yeah, I'm, I'm just happy with, yeah, I guess how I'm progressing. Ewan is challenging Grunewald, and Caleb, he's the king. It's Caleb. He gets there. Caleb Ewan opens up. He gets walked by Richesi. Viviani versus Ewan. It's Caleb, he collects his second. It's Indian, it's Caleb Ewan, it's a photo. No, it's not, it's one for the man of peace. It's Caleb Ewan, he makes it three. Oh, it's uh, uh, unbelievable. You know, when we uh, when we rolled onto the Champs-Élysées, to be honest, I almost had tears in my eyes when I, when I rolled through there. It was just such a surreal feeling and oh, I can't believe I just won the stage. Caleb Ewan or he proves lightning does strike twice. Lotto Sidal wearing the green points jersey had just enough to overhaul the Irishman. It was Caleb Ewan, the 25-year-old Australian from Sydney, that got the victory.